welcome to another vlog. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you for another week in my life. Today, I'm just gonna take a little break from working from home. I haven't filmed in a little bit because I had a lot of catching up to do with like computer work and I'm really trying to be more consistent on my blog. So I'm doing a lot of updates to the articles there on lifestylebyremy.com. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. I am doing an overhaul a little bit on my blog, just updating a lot of blog posts, adding a ton of new ones, especially because now that I pivoted to writing a lot more about things to do in Los Angeles. I'm trying to get more blog posts up there with like travel guides, day itineraries, best things to do and all of that stuff, which is taking a little longer than I anticipated just because I'm still trying to figure out balancing video creation and also the writing process. So just bear with me here, but know that a lot of stuff is coming and I am definitely working on being more consistent with my newsletter. So I sent one out earlier this week on Tuesday and I'm looking forward to picking that back up again and just filling you guys in more on the journey. And what I mean by the journey is just in my newsletter, I just always start off by giving you a little update on what's happening behind the scenes over here and just things that I'm working on, stuff that I've learned over the past week. And then we dive into a quote of the week because I'm a huge on quotes. If you guys haven't seen my Lifestyle by Remy Instagram account, you should go check it out because I do like reposting a lot of inspirational quotes, motivational quotes. It's just something that I've always gravitated towards because I feel like words are so powerful and they've always helped me whenever I felt down. I created Lifestyle by Remy as a place where people know that they can go and find that type of inspirational content. So go check that out as well if you're looking for that in your daily life. But yeah, anyways, I'm getting ready to go right now because I am heading over to another LA landmark today. I am visiting the Korean French Bell in San Pedro. I've never been there before, but I heard the views are spectacular and it's a great place to go on a picnic if you guys are into that. I'm excited to see the bell in person. I've seen pictures of it and it looks amazing. So before we head over to the Friendship Bell, I want to get some coffee. Obviously, if you guys have been following my channel, you know how much I love a good drip coffee or a latte. We're going to go to this cafe called Siren Cafe in San Pedro. It's not that far away from Korean Friendship Bell, which is why I wanted to head over there. All right, I'm gonna finish packing up and then let's head over to Siren. This was super cute. Um, it was mermaid themed, so it's very on brand. Siren. Very warm day today, so I have no idea why I got a hot drink. I don't know, I'm a hot drink girl. Let me know in the comments if you are the type of person to get a hot drink, even if it's a hot day, or a cold drink, no matter what, even if it's freezing cold. It over how peaceful it is up here. I'm here on a Thursday afternoon, so it is kind of a random time of the day. One thing to know about this bell is that they actually only ring it four or five times a year, I believe, just for special occasions. And then they do a maintenance ring on the bell the first Saturday of every month. Oh, the detail on this is crazy. So what you'll do is you'll turn into the park over there and then there's a parking lot right over there that's free. Mm -hmm. 
It's so peaceful and serene out here because you just see so much of the water and then just out of nowhere there's just this really cool building with a bell and just all the details and this is definitely one of my favorite parts about my job is just the fact that I get to go to all these really really cool places and just be able to take it all in and then share it with you guys so I don't know why. This this Korean friendship bell for some reason really moved me just because it just gave me another reminder that you have to make time for the things that are going to bring you peace and make you happy and for me one of the things that really does that is being able to appreciate some of the things that are in my city and it's not like I needed to like travel out of the country to see something like this it's just a 405 drive away which feels long sometimes but it's totally worth it. All right, anyways, I am very hungry now, so let's go over to Sakai Sushi and get some food. All right, got my box of Sakai Sushi. I ended up just picking what I wanted from the menu and they just did a custom mix for me, so I'll show you. Yay, so this is my custom box. I should have got more of these. I could probably eat a whole box of these by itself. So good. I am so excited for this sushi. I haven't had it in a long time, so I am just felt like treating myself today. So I'm gonna eat the sushi really quick, take a quick break, watch a little bit of YouTube, I think, and then today basically the plan is to work on my blog, kind of do an overhaul of it, update my old blog posts, and add some new ones, especially new ones that have to do with like LA. Some of the ideas that I have for my LA blog posts are are doing like week activities, one day itineraries, travel guides for different areas and different places to visit. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what type of blog posts or travel guides would you guys be interested in in regards to LA or any other places that I may travel to in the future? Let me know what you guys would be interested down in the comments below. I wanna make sure that I'm making things that are actually gonna be helpful for you. So yeah, let me know. <laughs> Hey guys, so uh, we need to work at a cafe today because I have a lot of writing to do. I also need coffee, so I don't know why I just said that, but let's get going. <laughs> I had a successful work session at Green Door Cafe. I came out here because it's actually next to an Ikea and I want to go there because I really need to organize my office. I feel like that space has just become really stagnant because it's become like a catch-all space for just all the boxes I don't want in my living room. So I want to go to Ikea and just check out a few things that I saw online that could potentially work for my office. So yeah, that's why I kind of made the drive down here to Carson. I believe is where I'm in right now. Green Door, amazing coffee, but it kind of bugs me that the alternative milk options are $1.50 extra because... I don't know. I feel like in Los Angeles especially, like most people, I think, just don't get regular milk lattes and stuff here. Like oat milk and almond milk is just like... I, I'm pretty sure is like the number one substitute that everyone just does all the time so I, I really appreciate whenever I find cafes that just like that's the alternative milk is actually what comes standard or there's no extra cost or if it's gonna be an extra cost at least be like 50 cents or something but I don't know the dollar fifty thing that's the highest I've ever had to pay for an alternative milk option like if I could drink regular milk I think I would but I just can't so like I'm not lactose intolerant or anything but my body definitely prefers is like an almond milk or an oat milk so yeah I don't know that's one thing that I would say about the place the ambience is really nice there's a ton of outlets and everywhere lots of seating good music vibes in there are really nice but the one thing is I really feel like they overcharge for their drinks and their milk alternative options so just something to keep in mind but if you really are looking for a place to work it's a great space to work. Um, but yeah, all right. I'm gonna go to Ikea right now and then head home to write some more.
have been the worst vlogger the past week i don't know i just feel like i've been a bad content creator in general the past couple of weeks i don't know i was just going through some sort of like rut in the creative process sorry my lens is a little dirty definitely gonna try to pick up the camera a lot more in the coming weeks but to kind of wrap up this vlog i want to kind of show you guys what i'm gonna be focusing on today and tomorrow which is really organizing my desk area because it's getting a little crazy it's just a lot of well, i'll show you it's getting very just like stacked with stuff over here, like business receipts, camera stuff. But I did get this from my parents' place and you'll see over there there's like boxes that I still need to kind of put away. And especially over here, it's just like, this is kind of the last area that really needs to be organized. But I got this shelving it's this really cute white storage organizer so randall and my mom are coming over he's gonna help me put that together while i work because yeah i don't know i feel like my parents just know me well enough where it's just i have this tendency to put off things that take a lot of time to do just because i'm horrible at multitasking and just like making time for both personal and work to do things if that makes sense i feel like i'm at this place in my life where i I am more prioritizing getting my channel and everything I don't know I'm just like focused on the growth there but because I'm doing that I'm also neglecting I feel like some of my like home personal things so I know it's something I need to work on I need to work on that balance but in the meantime I am so grateful to have such thoughtful parents and also friends like my friends also know me so well and they know that I kind of get like that so they'll always be checking in with me and just like are always making sure that I'm not just completely in the deep end and not focusing on also taking care of myself so yeah shout out to everyone in my life who does that for me I am like honestly truly grateful and I would not have my shit together if it wasn't for you guys so anyways I am very excited to get all of this into storage units that's a unit um there's one right there and then i also like obviously have all of this and for the past month it's just been empty and hello remy like you have boxes and all of those boxes came from these drawers previously so i just need to do this so yes a lot of home things that i need to do and that i want to do in these next couple of days we'll see how far we get because i'm hoping that i have enough storage to get most of those boxes unboxed but we'll see so We'll do a check-in at the end of this video and I'll show you kind of where things are at, but yeah. <laughs> Some egg foo young from Gardena Bowl. <laughs> yeah, all the musu bees. <laughs> Jeez. It's for one, two, and three. <laughs> what? <laughs> we eat one now though. I think what we ate two we This is where we are so far. Obviously, I still have boxes and I need to buy more storage, but this is clutch. Randall made this yesterday and I just threw some random stuff on there, but I need to figure that out. Um, and I also need to organize this, but right now I have some camera gear, also like my mic and other stuff and then books, cards, etc. So again, I just need to organize this more but at least i'm finding places for things which is cool this i still need to figure out like because clothes that i'm going to sell on poshmark are going to hang from there so that's fine but it's more just figuring out the rest of this space so and even here like i need to find places for this stuff i'm going to put that i think in the garage um and then yeah, I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this like vanity station. I need to kind of put this all away. It's just, I don't know, still working on that. And then my desk is what it is right now. This is what I added though, is that I have this, which is like a catch all for desk things. 
and like more camera gear stuff and then obviously I still need to work on this but all right well I think that is the end of this week's video so I will see you guys next time if you're not subscribed make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you know when new videos are available all right I'll see you next time bye